the diary of Sebastian von Danningberg, the Luftwaffe's newest pilot. Twenty fifth of September, nineteen forty four. Despite my recent success and the newspaper reports telling of Operation Market Garden's apparent failures, I can't help but sense a dark cloud hanging over the squadron. My past two sorties, although very fruitful, had seen me dancing with death too many times. The other men also recount very similar near-death experiences, which quickly turns into dark thoughts at the back of one's mind. Every time we go up, we are heavily outnumbered, and it feels like it's getting worse. How long can we withstand these odds? Hi everyone, we are back up in our flight of FW-190s. Eight of us have taken to the skies this morning, heading towards Wassenberg, where enemy aircraft have been spotted coming over the front line. We're there to intercept. As you can see, um, our flight is forming up. I'm dropping back from uh, the flight lead and wingman number one to get back into position. As I do that, the weather forecast is heavy cloud with uh, rain, drizzle and um, expect some blustery winds and probably turbulence as well. Finally back in formation, flying with the, uh, the flight, and I think we've got some specs on the windscreen. Yes, we've got some aircraft over there just going behind the canopy upright, and I've overshot as I'm not paying attention, so uh, let me, they're turning, let me climb and get out of there. Yeehaw indeed, we are splitting and braking for those aircraft. Aircraft coming in there, just between those clouds there, as the rain starts to come down. Yeah, the aircraft is very unsettled in the air today. Aircraft up coming down. Climbing up to try and get round and behind them. There they go. They are diving down. Coming behind them. Oh, the ground attack aircraft. Okay, um, I'm just breaking off those Grand Attack aircraft, which the rest of the flight has gone for. We've got another flight up here. So I can't tell if that was a P-51 or a Spitfire. We've got more aircraft diving down through the clouds here. Closing on this one. Checking my tail. Lots of radio calls. Oh! With a smoking aircraft there, as I stall out, let's gain control. We'll get back on the tail of this streaming aircraft, see if we can finish her off. Looks like a Spitfire, that one. Nothing on my tail. Right. Oh, he's out of control. He's a goner.
Okay, we've got another Spitfire here. Swing it in to come in behind. I think it's a Spitfire. There is a lot of aircraft here all of a sudden. They're descending out of the clouds. We didn't see the, uh, the obviously the escort fighters high above the clouds. Just the attack aircraft, or the ground attack aircraft beneath the clouds. Closing in now. Oh, look at that furball. Massive furball going on back there. A little bit nervous. He might have a wingman on my tail. Let's check around see if closing in on us. That seems to be gaining that much. This is a Spitfire, right? It's not a 190 I'm following. He seems to have very good performance. Although the uh, that was a Mark 14 Spitfire, they do have very good performance as well. A one nine. Well, that's a 109. Uh, that's not. That's a Spitfire. Okay, I don't know where that 109 came from. Have we got a flight to 109? So I it came out of nowhere. Maybe they were engaging the Spitfires on high above the clouds. And he dived down with the Spitfires and I've just tracked him by mistake. But anyway, it's led to me getting some hits on the Spitfire. And he is just gone. I think he's dived for the clouds. Got more aircraft coming in. Follow this one around. I am. Whoa. Okay, that was a very poor turn. Lost all my speed. Finally managed to gain a bit of momentum and look, another flight of Spitfires coming in. Oh my god. Where are these coming from? Alright, let's just gain some altitude. Try and there's aircraft everywhere. This is nuts. And I've got that sinking feeling. There's more of them than there are of us once again. An aircraft, oh, is that the, no that's not the Spitfire but someone coming and believe that cloud and we've got two aircraft over here, keep an eye on that one while these ones I'm going to cut across the nose of that one to get on the tail of this one, uh, this one's going to come across, just tighten that turn, Let's see what that one's doing, You can hear the roar of the engines going past. There's a Spitfire coming across my nose. Oh, going into an S. Let's see if we can cut. Oh, no, he's not. He's backed out of that. Got some good hits. Oh, Spitty on my tail. Diving away now. Oh, he's broken off. He's broken off. Right. Let's try not to turn too tight. We'll get back on him. There's two aircraft back there. I'm hoping. Oh, there's another aircraft over there. Outnumbered once again. Let's just see if we can take another one down. Something flashed over the nose. Another Spitfire. 
is decidedly dangerous for my health out here. Look at the aircraft! This is nuts! And I think they're all enemies. Right. Let's, oh my god, I don't know where to look. Head on the swivel. Spitfire zipping through. Can I get the nose up? No, I cannot. Getting a bit altitude. Aircraft everywhere. Okay, can't aircraft. Don't stall out on me. Oh my god, this is nuts. Right. He's broken off over there. He's going through the sun. There he is. That is a... Uh, Oh, it's a 190. It's a 190. Okay, that's a friendly aircraft. I found another friendly aircraft. Hooray! That's twice now I've got on the tail of a friendly. Thankfully, my trigger discipline has been good. Frantic calls. There's verbals everywhere. Oh. Try not to stall as I'm following this... Uh, Another Spitfire flashes over the nose. Um, but we've got numerous aircraft just above those clouds. And as I approach them, they go into the clouds and I cannot see them. Ah, oh, I hate this. I always lose aircraft in the clouds. So I'm now just giving myself a little bit of space. So if... Um, I do see them. I should have a bit of distance between me and them. So they can't jump me, basically. Beautiful day. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But I don't see the aircraft. Alright, let's pick up our scanning then. We've got aircraft 12 o'clock above the clouds. I guess with nothing behind us, we won't fly straight and level though. Let's um, give it a little bit of movement. We've got a furball over there as well. Okay, closing on this skirmish over here. Biddies. Is this another flight of Spitfires? Or is this just... Oh, I hope it's not the third flight of Spitfires. It's just what we don't need. Three Spitfires just flash behind me. Now, if I continue on this course, they've got to turn around and come back. So, I'm, I'm okay for the moment. I can try and just keep my speed up and get away from them. Got this aircraft ahead. just want to check that one out. See, there's those three coming around. But they haven't got that great a speed advantage over us that they'll catch us in a few seconds. We've got a, we've got a moment or two. Let's keep an eye on them, though. Let's see what this is. Flick through the wisps of cloud. That's an FW-190. They were, oh, there we go. They are chasing this FW-190, were they? And they saw me and then they disengaged. Okay. And he seems to be potentially in trouble. So let's go and engage these three Spitfires to give him a chance to get away. Run, buddy. I'll try and delay them if I can. There's actually three Spitfires when they're chasing another aircraft, so that's probably another damage FW-190 from our flight. So I'm going to try and um, get amongst these guys and cause a bit of distraction. I can make them break and uh, follow me for a bit. I'll give them a chance to just get away. Just judge that terribly. C2, where's that third one gone? Just keep an eye out for that third one. 
But I'm going to dive down on this one just above the cloud. Ah, oh, there's, there's one over there. Let's see if we can dive and gain a bit of speed and close in on them. Our tail is clear. Okay. Nothing back there. Closing on as he crosses the sun. Blink a few times. We're okay. Right. I might stay low so he might not see me in his mirror. Oh! We're hit, we're hit, we're streaming. Um, I think we got a bit of concussion, but I thought we were going to be injured, but um, the red soon cleared. Wow, look at that. Cannon shell right through the cockpit. I'm diving for the ground now. Oh, we've got a hole on that side of the cockpit as well. That passed straight through. If I hadn't been leaning towards the gun sight, I might well have... Um, well, certainly had a headache. If not... Would have lost a great week off my shoulders, I'd imagine, with that. Blimey. But we're still here to tell the tale about it. Lots of damage on the aircraft. I'm keeping low, I'm keeping fast, and I hope that's enough to help our buddies get off those uh, gun sights of the uh, Spitfires and make a break for it like we're doing. So, for the second week running, our battered aircraft has just about made it back to base. There is an FW-190 landing. That's one of the ones that we uh, hopefully helped by um, breaking the Spitfires, tracking them. Okay, we're using a lot of throttle to keep the um, aircraft above stalling speed. She's not very happy, bless her. Visibility, as always, is uh, wonderful. You just about to see the runway there. Let's just try and bring her down in one piece. She's not happy. She's shaking a bit. She just wants to pull left all the time. Trying to judge where the ground is. Oh, oh, we've had a gear failure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. As long as we don't. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, and breathe out. We are done. I had the brakes on. I don't know why. <laughs> not that it would do much. Can MP open. Wow. Again. A lucky call. Done a bit of damage on the landing with that wing. Um, but yeah, just look at it. That Spitfire's cannon fire has certainly done a number on us. We're incredibly lucky. Wow, look at the damage. But we potentially helped one of our flight mates get home as well. So maybe it was worth the risk. I know we've done some damage with the, the, uh, the scrubbed landing, but... Oof. Lucky day indeed. So we gingerly hopped out of the cockpit of our FW-190, looking at the anguished look on the mechanics' faces. In debriefing, we confirmed one aircraft kill and one probable, and as we shared our stories with the other pilots, it was clear, once again, we were millimetres from death.